So what's an appraisal contingency and why does it matter? Let's walk through what an appraisal contingency is and the reasons why we think it's probably a good idea to have one. First, let's just be clear on what an appraisal actually is. It's not an inspection to discover everything that's wrong with the house. An appraisal is a professional valuation done on your home and performed by a licensed appraiser. So the first thing is they're going to carry out a detailed inspection of the interior and exterior of the house. And then second is that they're going to research county records, municipal records, and even the MLS to discover, all right, what are the comparable sales uh, and other houses that are like yours in the area? The reason this is vitally important is because lenders are going to base the amount of money they loan you on that appraised value of the property. So if you're a traditional buyer in a pretty hot market, it's not uncommon that the house that you're trying to buy, it just isn't going to appraise for the amount that you've actually offered for it. In this case, you have a couple of options. Option one is you can actually increase the cash that you bring to closing, right? So in other words, like if the bank will only lend you $300,000, but your offer is $380,000, then you would need to bring $80,000 plus closing costs to the closing table. Option number two is you're forced to just back out of the sale entirely. All right, so either way is a bummer, right? I mean, it's a competitive market. You're maybe even able to afford the mortgage and the bank lowballs the value of the home. It's totally out of your control. Well, one way to make it a little bit less of a bummer is by adding in an appraisal contingency. An appraisal contingency allows you to back out of the sale and recover your deposit on the home without any penalties or legal implications. So more or less, it means that you don't lose money. This is added in as a clause or an addendum to your purchase contract. And if you're not sure if you have one in your offer, uh, simply ask your realtor about this and they're going to be able to assist you. Basically, an appraisal contingency, it's like an insurance policy. The downside about this insurance policy, though, is that the one who's giving you that policy is the seller of the home. That means that this has the chance of weakening your offer. So just be prepared to talk it over with the seller and make sure it's something that they're even comfortable with. As you can probably tell, this is why some homeowners just find it attractive to sell their homes to investors. Since we're not a bank, there are no appraisals. And that's because they're going to be our homes, not just collateral on a loan, right? Nonetheless, if you're someone that's buying or selling with a bank involved in that transaction, which is most common, then we think it's a no-brainer plan to just include an appraisal contingency or otherwise risk losing your deposit.